Here's the next study. Um, high fructose corn syrup makes your brain crave food. Uh, this is by uh, Byron J. Williams. The average American now consumes 145 pounds of high fructose corn syrup per year. 145 pounds. New research proves exactly how high fructose corn syrup bypasses the normal energy balance balance systems in your body, causing your brain to eat more food because it never really registers the calories of the high fructose corn syrup. Sounds like the same thing that NutraSweet does. Tricks your body into thinking that it's getting carbs, but it doesn't really register in this particular case. Obviously, this tilts the scale in the direction then of obesity and diabetes, and as I just reported, heart disease. It is a natural, national disgrace that 30% of Americans are considered obese and that this problem is heavily affecting teenagers who live on this garbage as their beverage of choice. Only the corn refiners of America and the American Medical Association, who are being paid by the corn refiners group, still believe that high fructose corn syrup doesn't cause obesity. When scientists want to make rats diabetic so they can study them, you know what they do? They feed them high fructose corn syrup until they become diabetic. Because that's how you make a rat diabetic. It's, it's simple. You just do it and it happens. When will the humans catch on? And even a better question. Is it the responsibility of others, meaning taxpayers, to pay for the massive costs of this self-inflicted disease? Meaning, if you're consuming massive amounts of high fructose corn syrup, it's a matter of time before you develop diabetes. Yes, you can have a genetic predisposition, sure. But, doesn't matter if you don't have it or if you do have it. You consume enough high fructose corn syrup, and not only is, are you making your risk of cancer go through the roof, but you're also making your risk of diabetes go through the roof, which diabetes leads to heart disease. I mean, you want to set, your up, you want to set yourself up for placking of the arteries? Get diabetes. Uh, skyrocketing um, blood sugar will produce higher triglycerides. It will start placking up your body like nothing else. So, again, when scientists want to create diabetic rats, they just feed them high fructose corn syrup. Proven fact. 